Hello everyone, welcome back to Witches the Moon. I am your Monday hostess Natalie and this is our final week, week 20, in season 11. I want to thank you all again for joining us this season and for returning or for new fans. Uh, and we appreciate your audienceship and your participation this season. If you have ideas of topics you'd like to hear in the next season or in upcoming seasons, please do drop a comment in the box below because we are in the planning stages for season 12. I was ex I had a great day. I'm very excited. I got to go to Miracles of Joy in Louisville and see the wonderful Patty Negri. For those of you that are familiar with Zach Bagans and the Ghost Adventures, she is uh, one of the psychic mediums that he has on there. She was teaching a class on spell casting and sigil magic, which, you know, I kind of already knew what she was talking about, but it was fun to go and see her teach. She has a fabulous energy. I did learn the, the name of the style of, of sigils I've been using uh, all this time, so that was kind of exciting, and she invited me to lunch, so that was exciting too. I got to go with her and two of her friends, and that was very, very much an honor, and I appreciate that. So she was fantastic, but she has a book called all, Old World Magic for a Modern World. And it's, it's actually really a good book. It's not very thick, but it's jam-packed with a lot of information about Patty and her experiences and some of the magic that she, sh she shares. So, you know, it's easy reading and it's, it's good for someone who's new to the craft. So if you're new, this might be a book that you want to look into. Anyhow, this week's topic is how to connect with other witches and pagans. And... This is a subject that is super easy to talk about because you're doing it right now by participating in this channel. We're fortunate that we live in an age of social media and uh, other methods of com connecting with people. The world is a lot smaller in some ways than it used to be back when I was a youngster. So getting to be around other pagans, getting to know other pagans or connect with other pagans, even if you're not in their immediate area, is so much easier. There's a plethora of methods for it these days. So Instagram, Facebook, um, now you can look up what groves are in your area of dru if druidry is the way you want to go. If you're interested in more of the paganistic type of methodology, you can find groups such as uh, Collin County, uh, Pagans of Collin and Denton Counties. It's a group I run on Facebook. For the Collin and Denton County areas here in North Texas, there are several covens here in the North Texas area. There's several circles, drum circles, things like that. One of the things that I hear from a lot of people is, oh, we just don't have any metaphysical shops in our area. And I'll kind of Google their area and find four or five different you know, metaphysical shops they weren't even aware of. They're not the kind of shops that are going to advertise a lot of unless you're on their email list or something like that. You don't see big signs saying metaphysical shop over here, especially not in this area where we have Bible Belt, but they're out there. You just have to know how to connect. Which Vox is one of the ways that I find some of the places. When my husband and I renewed our vows in Eureka Springs this past March, I went through Witch Box and found a licensed uh, minister who also did hand fastings and she was fantastic. So there are ways to connect. For those of you that are not familiar, there's a place called Pagan Space. It's kind of moved into the Facebook format now, like a group on Facebook, and there's a couple. I've seen that there's more than one Pagan Space group. I don't know. If they're the same and I'm just kind of catching it twice or if it's two different groups but there are a lot of different ways to get involved in the community you can also look at starting your own group start advertising in some of the places some of the university newspapers some of your local papers you know you could put in pagan group interested in meeting you know contact me at and get like a PO box so that people can contact you and maybe s establish a meeting that way there's a lot of good ways to meet other people who are on a spiritual path that 
are either pagan or witches or what have you. Social media, I think, has really opened up the door for a lot of people who live in more rural areas. Denton County has a lot of rural areas, but it also has a very strong pagan group out here. There's quite a few that are out here. I did not jive well with some of them personally myself but you know I mean it just wasn't my thing they were all very nice don't get me wrong it's just I feel awkward with groups I have a hard time in even small groups of people unless it's people that I know very well and it was awkward for me uh, a couple of the people weren't overly friendly they weren't unfriendly they just weren't overly friendly and I kind of need someone to draw me out at first now once you get me going I'm pretty out there. Uh, if I was leading the group, it would have been different because I would have been in my element at that point. I would have said, oh, okay, you know, this is my group. I'm meeting it. Hi, everybody. How you doing? But coming into someone else's space is always a little awkward for me, which is one of the reasons why I stay solitary. But there are a lot of different ways to connect. Like I said, you can get on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You're doing it here. M you know, commenting, paying attention to other people's comments and finding people that are kind of local to your area and saying, hey, you know, you live kind of in the area that I'm in. Maybe you might like to get a cup of coffee sometime. We can sit down and talk tarot or whatever. You would be surprised how many people are receptive to that because I think so many people in our community feel isolated, especially out here in the South, in the, in the Bible Belt area of the South, where you get a lot of Southern Baptists and Catholics and so forth, and, and you don't see as many pagans or it's kind of looked down askance. So it's it's a lot easier to you know kind of do it under the table so to speak but you can do that there are a lot of groups that meet here in the north texas area there's the daughters of delphi they meet every last thursday of the month and they meet at the fuzzies tacos in louisville and they just get out there with their tarot cards and do readings for each other and kind of socialize and it's lots of fun there's the miracles of joy metaphysical shop they offer a lot of that and if you have a metaphysical shop near you or in a town close to you they would be an excellent resource for get-togethers, meetings, uh, groups, rituals, that kind of thing. A lot of those shops offer, you know, flyers and things like that for groups in the area that are meeting, and that is an excellent way to do it. So, don't be shy. Get out there, get to know some people, and enjoy being pagan and free and out in the open, and get to know some people and connect on a deep spiritual level it's awesome even if you're not part of a coven so that's my spiel we'll see you guys in season 12 and thank you again so much for being with us